Bruno Fernandes deal is off. Klopp fears over minor injury. There's cup upsets, the chance to round up, and today's Friday feels all coming up in the next few minutes. As I'm your host, Matt Froelich, you are the one footballers, and this is the Daily News. So, first off, and to Bruno Fernandes and his apparent deal from Sporting Lisbon to Manchester United is not happening. Of course, these are just to report, and it'll probably turn around by the end of this video that Man United have signed Bruno Fernandes. But at the moment, it looks like both clubs just can't agree on a valuation. Sporting Lisbon won around 60. 5 million for the player, but United are unwilling to go higher than 55. According to George Mendes, Bruno Fernandes's agent, he thinks that if anything does happen, it will be happening in the summer now. And this is just really, really disappointing for Manchester United fans. There's been so much back and forth, so much talk. So why won't they go and spend the extra 10 million on bringing him in? This apparently is down to one of the board members, Joe Glazer, thinking that the deal isn't really worth it in the way that it's structured. Well, Bruno Fernandes just isn't worth the money. How can he not be worth the money? It's clear how good he is. And Manchester United are in dire need of a creative player in that position. I mean, you put two or two together, four's got to be the answer, surely. Anyway, what it does mean is that Manchester United will be without yet another attacker because he hasn't signed for them. And it could mean that over the weekend, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer faces a lot more fire if his team come up short again. And to find out who they'll be facing in the FA Cup, well, just hold on a little bit longer because first, we're going to move on to last night's Premier League action where Sadio Mane came off injured for Liverpool. This has been that Klopp is fearing the worst as the Senegalese forward limped off holding his hamstring in the 33rd minute. Of course, for the game, it didn't really matter for Liverpool because they still went on to win it anyway. Unbelievable. They're still going after all this time. That has made it 14 wins in a row in the Premier League and it's all thanks to Jordan Henderson. He managed to sort of head up slash shoulder in the first goal and then set up Roberto Firmino for the winner as Liverpool won 2-1 against Wolves. Adama Traor was yet again causing so many problems for the opposition defence but just couldn't help his side to yet another victory. This means pretty much that we all know the title is won and Jurgen Klopp takes his Liverpool side to face Shrewsbury at the weekend. He'll be hoping that they're not on the wrong end of a cup upset like a few teams were last night. The first one being Watford. They lost 2-1 in extra time to Tranmere and that is who Manchester United will be facing on Sunday. Now if you're wondering how or why Watford lost, well, there are many excuses, but to be honest, they should have just played a stronger team. I know Nigel Pearson was worried about having to play four games in the space of nine days, but he put out a completely weakened young side and they got their just desserts. And talking of dessert, it sounds a bit like desert, which is exactly what the Tranmere pitch was like last night. There was sand absolutely everywhere. Honestly, Manchester United are going to find it very difficult to play on this surface at the weekend. So maybe, just maybe, there'll be a cup upset in store. Alongside that, though, that wasn't the only cup upset of the night. Oh no, don't think we forgot about you, Atletico Madrid. Diego Simeone's side lost 2-1 to Coco Leonesa, who play in the third division of Spanish football. In fact, normally they're playing against Atletico Madrid's B team, never mind the first team, and never mind beating them 2-1 in extra time. Unbelievable stuff after Angel Correa had given Atletico the lead. This means that Diego Simeone's side have now lost three in a row. They lost 4-1 to Ibar, which is pretty poor in La Liga, and as well as losing on penalties to Real Madrid in the Spanish Super Cup. He may not be feeling the pressure just yet, but if they go on without scoring, without winning, and without failing to bring in a striker, well, you never know, the heat may be turned up on the Argentinian. So next up, we come to a quick roundup of the rest of the day's transfer news, where Newcastle are interested in bringing in Inter Milan's Valentin Lazaro on loan. Inter also have finally looked to agree a deal with Tottenham over Christian Eriksen worth around 20 million euros. Arsenal are interested in Ukrainian defender Mikola Madvienko and lastly but not least the most bullshit rumour of the day is that Man United will make a loan offer to bring back Carlos Tevez. There's no way that's happening after he left the club for Manchester City about a decade ago. So lastly but not least we come to today's Friday feels. You know what time it is where you guys leave your footballing predictions in the comment section below for the weekend's games. It could be absolutely anything and we'll review some of the best on Monday. For me, in the FA Cup, I'm going for the upset to be Hull to beat Chelsea 1-0. In the Bundesliga, I think that league leaders Leipzig will pick up a 3-1 victory over Frankfurt. And last but not least, in the Derby della Capitale in Syria. I think it's going to be Lazio who run out 2-1 winners over Roma. So there you have it, all of today's daily news. Let me know your thoughts on Friday Fields and the rest of today's daily news in the comments section below. Smash the like button, watch it there, and click here or here to check out all of the other videos we've got going on on OneFootball. But until next time, have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys later.